Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. And today we will be discussing uh, uh, one question that is uh, to design a PDA for a language L is equal to WCWR. Okay, so we are going to design a PDA for the language L is equal to WCWR. Okay, where W belongs to A comma B plus. Fine. Now, what does that mean? This means that uh, this W is a combination of A and B, but excluding null. That is, if we have plus here, that means we don't have a null here. Fine. So, in this W, I can have any combination of A and B. Then we have a C, and then in this W again, we have the reverse of this one. That is, whatever we are getting here after this C, we should be getting exactly the mirror image or the opposite of that one. Fine. So, suppose if I take uh, W is equal to A, A, B, A, okay, then this W, C, W, R will be A, A, B, A, that is this W first followed by a C and then the exact opposite of this one, that is whatever we are getting here, we will get the mirror image of this one here, fine. So, A, A, B, A this side, so I will be getting A, then B, then a, A. So, this PDA, we should design this PDA so that it should accept this one. Okay. Now, we are having W belongs to A comma B plus. Now, there, there are two things. This w belongs to A comma B star. This means this is the clean closure and this is called as a positive closure. What is the difference between the two? The difference between the two is in this one, there is a combination of A, a, a and B excluding null. There is no null. That is, there should be something in there. That is, either A should be there or at least B should be there or a combination of A, B should be there. But something should be there. But in this one, there is a star, there is a clean closure. That means we can have anything here, including null. That is, we can have either A or B or a combination of A, B or even nothing. Okay. So, we are doing the question for this one. Okay. A and B. That is, we will be having something here, something, at least something should be here. Then we should have C here. Then whatever we had here, we will be having the exact reverse of that one here. That is WC, WR. Okay. So, now let us begin doing this question and I will be doing it with the help of uh, the stack and I will take an input tape here. Okay. So, I will take one input tape here and I will try to make you understand by taking two strings. I will not take one. I will take this one. I will take one other. Okay. So, suppose one string I have taken is A, A, B, A and the other one I have taken is uh, say B, B, A, B. Okay. So, in this one we will be having C and then A, B, A, A and in this one we will be having C, B, A, B, B. Okay. So, I will do for both the things. Both the strings I will do. Okay. So, I will make some cells here and in these cells I will add my string. Okay. So, suppose I will be having uh, this uh, B, B, A, B, then C, then again B, A, B, B. Fine. And we can have anything here. Okay, so currently the, the finite control is here, that is the pointer is here on the first B, okay. And suppose we have a stack here, okay. So in stack we have Z0. What does that Z0 mean? Z0 means the stack is currently empty, okay. So now what is the logic in this one? The logic that we will apply in this one is, uh, first of all B comes, okay. And this B and the last one are same or you can say this one and this one are same. Okay. So, what is the logic here that I can apply? I mean, I mean you can have any logic in this one. You can apply your own logic. I, I can apply my own logic. So, according to my logic, what I do, first B comes, I will push it into the stack. Second B comes, I will push it. Whatever is coming before this C, everything will be pushed in here. Okay. That is, this B will be on the top, then this A, then below that there will be B, below that there will be B. Now, after this C, what we will be having, we will be getting the same exactly the same value that we are getting here. So, what I am getting B here, I will get B here. So, before this C, this C will act as a separator. So, before this C, I will push everything and after this C, whatever I am getting, I will be popping out these elements. Okay. So, how we do this? Fine. So, currently R 
this uh, pointer is on the first B and I will take a initial state as Q0 and initially what I am getting suppose this one and this one more input tape I have and in this one I will take this one A, A, B, A and then C and then A, B, A, A and then epsilon. Okay, so we have this one here. So currently this pointer is here and currently the pointer is here. That means the string can start with B also, the string can start with A also and in the string we can have a B after a B, we can have A after a B, everything is possible in this one. Okay, so finally at Q0 what I will get, suppose the string starting with B. So I will take a move for B, that is B, the element to process is B, the top stack element is Z0. And what are we doing? We are pushing everything that is coming before C into the stack. So we have to push it. Okay. So I'll push it. What I'll get? I'll get B Z naught. Fine. Now if we do this one again, I'll take a self loop. That is the element to process here is A. The top stack element is Z naught. And what are we doing? We are actually pushing it. So I'll write A Z naught. Okay. Now this. Uh, if you follow this one, B will come here. Okay. Now after this B this pointer will now move on to this one okay again we are getting a b so this uh, uh, transition will not work for the second b and this transition will not work for the first, second day so for second b what i'll take element to process is b and the top stack element is now b and what are we doing we are pushing it so we'll push it what i'll get i'll get bb okay here again if uh, it, it, this will not work for the second day consecutive way okay so element to process again is a and the top stack element is for this one the top stack element is a what are we doing we are pushing it so we are pushing a a okay so this one is done for the a's and the b's now after this b what i am getting i am again getting a a okay so again at this one also i will again take a move for b so element to process here is a and the top stack element is so what is there? B. The top stack element is B. Element of process is A. The top stack element is B. And what are we doing? We are pushing it. So I will push it. Okay. Similarly, in this one, the element of process is B. And the top stack element is this one. That is A. And what are we doing? We are pushing it. Okay. So with these two moves, everything will be pushed in. Fine. Now, after this one, suppose uh, whatever we are getting, I mean, if we get B element to uh, top stack element is A, so it will be either use uh, this uh, transition will be used or this transition will be used. So any one of the transition will be used and all the elements before this C will be pushed in. Okay. So B comes, B pushed, B again comes, pushed, A comes, pushed, B, A again comes, pushed. If A comes after B, it is pushed. If B comes after A, it is pushed. So every element before the C is pushing. Now, what are we doing? As soon as we get C, we don't have to do anything. We'll simply bypass it. Okay. So what have we done here? This pushed, this pushed, then again A is pushed, then again B is pushed. So all those elements are pushed and this element is on the top. Now the C comes. Now as soon as the C comes, we will simply bypass it. We will not do anything. We'll skip it. That is the element of process is C and the top stack element is here B. And what are we doing? We are doing nothing. We are simply moving forward. That is B. That is for this case. Now for this case, what is there? The element to process is C. The top stack element is A. And we are not doing anything. We are simply bypassing it. So what will be left? A will be there into the stack. Okay. So C will be bypassed. Now after this, whatever is coming, this will be the same way. That is, it will work now in this direction from top to bottom. Okay. We'll be getting B, A, B, 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 A, B, B. Okay, so what we do for this every element, we will pop these elements out of the stack. Okay, so we'll reach on to a some new state that is Q1. Now at this Q1, what I'm getting? Simply, we are popping for the same element. That is for B, we are popping for A, we are popping for B, we are popping for B, we are popping. So we are popping only for the same element. We are not popping for the different element. Okay, so simply, I will take a self loop. That is the element to process is this time B and the top stack element is B and what are we doing? We are simply popping it. Similarly, for A also, that is the element to process is A, the top stack element is A. What are we doing? We are simply popping it. 
so all the elements will be popped against this part of the string fine and finally what we have reached the epsilon and we'll take a move for epsilon what is left element to process is epsilon the top stack element is z0 and what are we doing we don't uh, we will not do anything we'll simply skip it that is z0 and reach on to some final state and we are done so thank you so much